life. It's a magnificent thing. It's an awesome thing. From conception until its natural end. This anniversary of Roe v. Wade, we remember the innocent, the preborn lives not allowed to live. In 1973, the Supreme Court decision in Roe v. Wade legalized abortion, authorizing the destruction of more than 4,000 little human beings every day. This is not what God intended, not the way it should be. Life. Jesus came to give it to us, to our world, abundantly. And in his life, is freedom and healing for the woman who made a choice she now deeply regrets for the man who encouraged that choice and has never forgiven himself maybe it's you God knows your burden he knows your pain and he offers you life freedom and healing this is a very sensitive issue and one that requires great love, understanding, and compassion. With the growing acceptance of the destruction of human life through abortion, euthanasia, and assisted suicide, it is imperative that we become a voice for the voiceless and defend the defenseless. And we do this by sharing the truth of God's word, that human life is sacred and inviolable at every moment. It is a miraculous thing, a gift from God, and no one has the right to snuff it out. And we share this in our churches, in our community, with our legislators, and we share this in our homes. And we can't lose hope, knowing more than one million little human beings will lose their lives this year. We have to take this heavy burden to the cross, and we lay it at the feet of our Lord and Savior because we know that life, Jesus came to give it to us, to our world, abundantly. And in his life is freedom, restoration, and redemption. We have hope in our sovereign God.